Murphy Halloween YouTubers, it is I, Hellgear, and even though it's not officially Halloween yet, I'm still going to wish it to you nevertheless. Welcome back to Smurfs Village. Now, as some of you have known from me talking about it, there are quotas to keep up, so please be sure to like, sub, and bell. Oh, because content that makes the quota sticks around for a while. Here's the sitch on this, and this is the Halloween update. However, the Halloween update, <laughs> the Halloween update has taken two forms. Now, I say that because earlier on in this month of October, we had a Halloween update on the island. And this is the most interesting part about the Halloween event on the island. Okay. We got some choice things. Scaredy Smurf's hut is the main one. And it's interesting to note that Scaredy Smurf had some things on this island. So earlier on in October, Scaredy Smurf did his Halloween thing here on the island. bringing exclusive tropical Halloween decor with him, place his hut to unlock items like zombie pirate smurf and the sugar mask spider. So, the reason I say this, and there's a really good reason for this, is because not too long ago, I mentioned this in, a, in the community post that there was going to be a second Halloween update. Well, Yeah, there is a second update for Halloween. But here's the thing. The second Halloween update is in the main village. So, of course, we got the pineapple jack-o'-lantern for Smurfette, letting her run the little red witch here. The little red witch outfit. So she can be Wendy the red witch. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Like, you, you just don't expect that sort of thing to happen. But I find it odd how this year we're getting two villages update for Halloween. I figured both of the Halloween updates would happen on just the island. But the first Halloween update is for, <laughs> look at this stuff, Haunted Shack. The first Halloween update was for the island, and then the second one was for the main village, and I need to put this down. Be in charge of the weather forecast mini machine. Uh, I need to put these down. I put the Valentine's one da day one down. I need to put that one down. Like the, the mini weather machine for, for the village, or the, the island. <laughs> okay. This is not where I want to go. Here we go. Now let's look at the other stuff. Phantom Smurf is who jumped to the main village. So, <laughs> that's going to be some amazing stuff. Now, in the midst of me talking about this, look at pump, <laughs> Pumpkin Smurf. <sighs> I feel so bad I didn't get Pumpkin Smurf and Smurf's Epic Run. I, I, I still do. That, that pains me to this very day. As I was saying, in the midst of all this, I forgot to mention that the pumpkin patch sale has been going on in the Smurf shop. So you have until October 29th to save up to 35% on your purchases. And as you guys know, links to the Smurf shop are in the description of all things Smurfy. So thank you very much for that. Also, in other Smurf-related news, as some of you might have been keeping up with, 
October 23rd was the 65th anniversary of our blue friends. So, Smurfy birthday this month. And as some of you have probably been keeping up with, and I haven't been doing this much because of audits, the Smurfs' second game is going to be dropping November 2nd. Now, this is the funny part about it, and I want to talk a little bit more about this because it's the sequel to Mission Vileaf. It's called The Prisoner of the Green Stone. So, yeah. So here's Scaredy Smurf's hut, and then we got all the stuff required for Scaredy Smurf. My boy Pirate Smurf, man, is a zombie. And he was on the marquee for the first one, for the first Halloween update. And I looked at that thumbnail, and I like how they did this Pirate Smurf, man, being a zombie. So there's the Sugar Mask Spider. And then we got, oh dear lord, let's let let's keep going. A floating jack-o'-lantern. That must be like a buoy. They 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 made a buoy in the shape of a pumpkin. Jacko turtle. Okay. And this is the wonder for the first half, the tropical masquerade wonder. Look at those masks. And the sugar skulls, man. Uh, and yes, because it is Halloween time, we post this stuff at night. Because Halloween, the stuff is supposed to happen at night. We can send you off for an hour. All right. That's fantastic. Turn the volume down a little bit on that. All right. Back to looking at updates with Scaredy Smurf. Turtle and a jack o That is some crazy mess. But hey, the turtle allowed, allowed the Smurfs to decorate it with a pumpkin. I'm not sure how defensive that is, but hey. Oh, dear Lord, that is so creepy. I love it. A spooky squirrel. Uh, we got to see the face. <laughs> it's like, like that's like that, um, song from Hey Arnold. I saw her face and wow. <laughs> Sugar mass pumpkins. That's a good way to design white colored pumpkins. Not even a lie there. Not going to lie at all. Bones. Ah, the grave hands. Somebody's, somebody's been playing The Legend of Zelda. It's good to see that. Scary clown costume. That's not scary. That's not scary. Not scary at all. This guy is from a previous, from a past one. Uh, where's all the other scarier themed things? I'm disappointed. I wanted to see more of this stuff. Ah, uh, that's not fair. It's not fair at all. There's supposed to be more, more fun stuff. Phantom Smurfs Hut. Okay. So we got a cowgirl Smurf. See, why does it look like Smurf Lily? I need to try to draw that. So this is all the stuff that comes with the village Halloween area. Where are the sugar skull mask girls? Because that's one of the things I saw before. The girls with the sugar skull masks. Hopefully that's not an exclusive offer. Like these. All right. 
So let's get to the main village and check out their spooky stuff. It feels so weird to hop back and forth between two different villages for this update. But you know, you got to cover stuff. So, Phantom Smurf. This looks like the Smurf, the ghost Smurf from a couple Halloween things back. <laughs> Brought his ghost friends to the main village. Placed his hut to unlock exclusive items like the Flying Gargoyle and Ghost Wizard. Okay. So, yeah. Look at some of the other things. Bride of Franken Smurf. I remember that. I remember this guy too. Such fun stuff. Like Party Smurf is Count Smurfula. This was some fun stuff. Jacko Smurf. <laughs> ah, I should put this down. But I'm not going to. Ah, uh, Smurf buries the stack. So with Phantom Smurfs, we get this gargoyle. We get the hungry ghost. Oh, Jesus. Somebody get Luigi. Ghost Wolf. Now, this looks pretty cool. That actually looks really cool. There's the ghost wizard. Floating candelabra. That's cool. And this is coming up. Okay. A citrine tree statue to celebrate 13 years of super smurfy fun with all of our fans. Awards 13 smurf berries when placed. Thank you for 13 years. It will be unlocked on November 11th. So make sure you log in and smurf while you can. There we go. A little bit of foreshadowing going on here. Okay. So speaking of foreshadowing. Many people in the smurfs community are talking about season three. And... I gave up a little bit of info on the season three because just before the 65th Smurf Day, the Smurfs official social media pages that are not X put up the poster that shows off season three. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in another video, so we won't get into that too much. This is the wonder for this uh, area. Haunted Museum. The clown gets me, man. The clown. Giant jack o' lantern. That's cool. Gargoyle wall. Oh, the island had the better wall. The bone wall. Like the like that was that was the better one. The bone wall. Give me the bone wall, man. If I had to choose between the gargoyle wall and the bone wall, give me the bone wall. Give me the bones. The bones. Give me the bones. Spooks and skulls and skeletons, man. Send shivers up your smurf. Yep, I stored this wonder and it will stay stored. Oh, now that was that was a really cool one. Do it again. Do it again. That's so cool. Reminds me of the season two episode where I forget which which Smurf got the pumpkin stuck on its head for courage. Ah, I got to go back and watch that. And to those of you who are wondering about season two, because Nickelodeon hasn't put any more episodes of it on there and they've already aired the episode, which was the season two finale, a.k.a. Gargamel, Queen of the Prom. There's one episode that hasn't been aired yet, and it's the Christmas episode. Like, two episodes after the Christmas... Actually, no. The episode after the Christmas episode is Gargamel, Queen of the Prom. So, uh, which is funny, because this they debuted this last year. And the Smurfs Instagram page actually took excerpts from... The, from the Christmas episode in English. 
And I will never understand that. Like, you're taking episodes from the Smurf Christmas episode that was only shown off in French. But you have it in English on the Smurfs Instagram. But you didn't show it last year. That that irritates me, man. It really does. I'm trying to find where those those the Smurf girls with the sugar skulls on there because the Smurfs village actually talked about that. They showed those off. Oh, speaking of which, I might as well do a little quick thing about the Smurfs Village, too. Let's check in on that. Okay, here it is. So, there's a Halloween party contest going on in the Smurfs Village Forum. So, what's happening? I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to show you guys this wonderful thing. So, here we are in the Smurfs Village Forum, and here it is. Time for a Halloween party contest. So, let's see the details. I'm going to read this off here. There is a limit of three entries for player. An entry is a screenshot. Each per entry must be a separate post. Multiple photos in a single post will result in only one photo being considered. So, show us your village Halloween party. Those are the rules. So essentially, you take a screenshot of your village Halloween party, one particular area, take a snap of it, take another screenshot of a different area, take another, take a second snap, and then a third area, take a third snap, and put your three snaps in different posts. Posts here in the forum. Forum, of course, as all of you know, is free to join. So, submit your entries as a comment to this topic only. Entries submitted elsewhere, such as another thread or topic, will not be counted. Must be received by November 2nd at midnight universal time. Winners must provide their own Smurf ID or support ID to claim the prizes. First prize gets a castle of your choice from or any PCO from the 2.51 update, plus 100 Smurf Berries and 225 Stardust. Second prize, two MMB items of your choice, 75 Smurf Berries, 225 Star. Okay, you're getting the 225 Stardust no matter where you place. First, second, third, or three honorable mentions. First prize, 100 Smurf Berries, second and second, third, and the three honorable mentions get 75 Smurf Berries. Winners will be notified via private messages here on the forum and the topic after the contest to see if you've won. And of course, never share your IDs. So, good luck to everybody participating in the contest. Now that we're back in the village, look at some more of this Halloween-themed stuff. Like, be honest with me, you guys. If you had a choice between the gargoyle wall for your Halloween-themed decor or the bone wall for your Halloween-themed decor, <laughs> which one would you choose? There's a lot of Halloween-themed decor. And many people in the Smurfs Village community have uh, gone all out. Spooky Campfire, that's the one that I'm supposed to place to progress the storyline. But this is the one that's part of the update. All these creepy wonders. Look at this. Sugar Dragon Roost. <sighs> if I could, I would put this one in the village because there's already dragon themed stuff in the village. Like this tower, that's that looks pretty cool. Like all these wonders, man. Crazy stuff. 
Smurfy sugar dragons, man. All right. Here we go. Now we're in business. So here's one of the Smurf girls in the sugar mask. Looks very nice. I guess she's sitting down just having a break. And here's the other one. Like these are the ones from for the island. And then of course you got the skeleton sheet, man. That's some crazy mess. More decor for Smurf honey. Like the skeleton sheet for the island. Let me just go back to like the Halloween decor because they have a different sheet. Right? They have a diff they have two different sheets for this show off the other sheep you need to see the other sheep because one like the skeleton sheep is cool but the other sheep looks better and not the fluffy spider lamb it's the other sheep let me go to the new stuff Right, show me the other sheep. This one, gargoyle sheep. See, that looks that looks so cool, like the gargoyle sheep. Like, which one looks better, the skeleton sheep or the gargoyle sheep? You know, I'm not sure if the island got the better updates for Halloween this year or the main village. You let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, season three of Smurfs. Smurfs to the Prisoner of Greenstone coming out November 2nd. And some new characters in store. Definitely don't have enough time to post decor on two different villages. I was not expecting that. And of course, the 13th anniversary statue coming next month. So a lot to look forward to in Smurfs Village. Limited time events, however, are not there. That's all I'm going to say for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy the info. Let's tap on Jokey before we split. I'll take those four Smurf berries. Thank you, Jokey boy. Remember to like, sub, and bell, and I'll see you guys next time. So have a Smurfy and safe Halloween.